What's up everybody and this is Danny looking at the Nilkin hard case for the Sony Xperia Z and there are a lot of cases out for the Sony Xperia Z right now but I'm kind of a fan of Nilkin cases so I definitely wanted to check out their thin hard case and this retails for $8 on eBay so that is pretty cheap so go ahead and look them up and purchase one for yourself and how can you not buy one it says super cool on the package so I guess you got to buy one right now. This is on every Nilkin package, and I think it's really silly. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what else comes with this. And if you look inside the box here, most of the time it does come with the screen protector, so it's a pretty good value on Nilkin cases. And they do have a screen protector right there. But since Xperia Z comes with a screen protector already put on by the factory, I don't use any other screen protectors. But with Nilkin cases, what I like is I love that grippy texture on the back. It is really cool and you can see all the cutouts are proper on this case. So let's just go ahead and install this thing. So very, very easy. Make sure you have it aligned up right. And let's just go ahead and clip that on there. And this is very easy. You can do this with one hand and you can see that this is no problem at all. And you can see that that whole side with the power button and volume rocker is completely just gone out of there. They've just taken that out so they'll give you the tactility of the regular uh, button there and you can see how grippy that backside is and how much texture there is on that backside and it does feel really good I do really like that uh, 13 megapixel camera and the microphone is cut out with no problems there and as I mentioned before the volume rocker side and power switch is also exposed and your whole bottom and the entire top as well is also exposed there so if you're looking for ultimate protection, this is not the case. So if you dropped it probably on the top or bottom, you'd probably still damage your device. But this is a very thin case, so you'd be able to get minimal protection out of it and add the minimal amount of bulk. But you can see right there how the buttons are exposed. It does look a little funny from the front, but I do appreciate that for other cases that I've owned it really does take away from the tactility of that big power button on the right hand side but you can see it lips over a little bit on the front so you do get that front protection if you were to lay it down on a table you would definitely get that protection there so you wouldn't scratch it if you were to lay it face down but the top and the bottom are exposed so I think if you were to drop it on there then you would really not get much protection out of it at all but it feels really good in the hand and that and I really like Nilkin cases for that because it really does have grip and texture on there and I think you will really really like the way this feels in your hand and it is very solid it is definitely not going anywhere and it does have not have any movement in the case whatsoever and you can see right here you can just try to move it all you want if it's really really snug on there so I think you will appreciate that as well so like most Nilkin cases this thing is built pretty well so just to show you there it does have some front protection there and it might have some corner protection there too but not right on the bottom or right on the top I don't think you'd have much protection there at all but it does give you minimal protection and that's exactly what I need. I'm a fan of these thin cases and I'm a fan definitely of this texture and grip on the back. But there are downsides to this because because of that texture and of the white color, it is definitely prone to staining. And I've had problems with other Nilkin cases like this too where if you wear dark jeans or if you're in a dirty environment, you can see there that under macro, you can really see how dirty that's getting and you can clean this all you want, scrub it, it's not coming off. So the uh, color transfer does happen on this white case so if you don't want this to happen then I would definitely get a black one for they don't happen at all and especially if you have a black Xperia I think the black case of this would be a perfect match this is the case that I've been using uh, for about two weeks on my Xperia and I really really like this case even though it's dirty I still use it so that just goes to show you how good this case is for me and how much I like the way it feels until there's another case that comes out right now this is the one that I'm using and there are other big name cases that are coming out soon that I hope to test so what do you guys think about this case I mean for eight bucks it's kind of a no-brainer and if you have a black Xperia then go ahead and get the black one but it comes in a whole bunch of different colors so please subscribe to my channel today and thumbs up if you like this video and thank you for watching this video